this step gives us some different opportunities. I usually teach it because it's a good adaption for anyone who struggles to do that pivot, okay? But I actually use a cheat step when I'm sparring and fighting as well. So if I change my angle, yeah, and I just rely on this twist all the time, I stay in the same position. Yeah, the, 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 the power of the kick toe is going to be the same. Sometimes I want to really, like say like a baseball bat, just go through and try and even kick out the back leg, okay? So the cheat step gives us this option. So it is an effective technique, not just an adaption for something we can't do. So as a step, I'll come back in, I'll cheat step and then blast the leg, okay? So I do use it, even though it just sounds like we're cheating, we're not, it's just the name of the step, okay? So the next thing we need to get used to is rolling a hip, all right? So this time, son of a bitch, Sven, <laughs> We're not going to step out. But you said step out, and then we're taking. <laughs> but well, you know, there's. Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> we're going to do the rotation now. All right. So we're going to have to focus on rotating on our foot. All right. I bring my knee up, rotate, and then push my hip. Okay. So I'm connecting to the, the thigh, and then there's just like a little bit of a push. And this is teaching us to roll our hips. Okay. So here, and roll our hips. Try not to lean back, like I just did. <laughs> Up straight and roll that in. And what we get is like a little bit of a bounce back. So when we throw a big kick, we bounce back into our stance and we're able to start going into uh, the next uh, set of stuff. Does that make sense? Nice and steady. One, two, three. <laughs>